Hey everybody, I'm back from deployments like a boss. <laughs> I'm back from deployment. I left for deployment September 20th to fly out to meet my ship. And I came back November 4th. So I was only out there 45 days. And the ship I was on was the USS Enterprise, which is now decomping. So I was a part of the crew for the last deployment. So, I'm very excited about that. Uh, let's see, where to start? Um, I, no, my boat was on deployment for eight months. So they were out there eight months, and I was only out there 45 days. In those eight months, they only went to four places. In my 45 days, I got to see three of those four places. Like a boss, I got to see Bahrain, Dubai, and Italy. The only place I missed was Greece. Nah, I'll see Greece one day. It's cool. Um, <laughs> when I was in Italy, I took a day tour to Rome, so I got to see the Vatican. I got to see the Pope because the day that we were there, he was there giving his blessing. So I got to see him. Um, I got to see the Colosseum, which I was probably more excited to see that than I was the Pope. Don't judge me. Please don't judge me. But I was so happy, so excited. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, I just uploaded my pictures. Not to Instagram, but I uploaded them to my computer, so I'm a step closer. So if you just stay tuned, I'm going to throw a couple pictures on there. More than likely of me at the Coliseum, me at the Vatican, me at all those places that I got to see. Um, so I think I would say Italy and Rome were the best places for me. Like um, I like those the most. I want to go back there the most. Um, definitely, most definitely. I actually want to get inside the Coliseum. That's like my goal. Um, Dubai was nice. Um, it had a lot of nice architecture, no camels, no sand. It was really westernized. It looked like home. It looked like a city, but just bigger and grander. They like was doing it big over there. Seemed like everybody had money. Everybody was rich. I was like, dang. So I asked the cab driver, I said, what do y'all do over here? <laughs> Why is everybody balling? He was like, oil. I was like, hmm, makes sense. <laughs> so, um, before I get any deeper into this video, I'd like to thank everybody who, while I was gone, helped me down, who, um, you know, sent messages, asked me how I was doing, just checking on me, positive energy, positive comments, kindness. I just want to say good luck. That was a good luck because I didn't have much out there, like as far as communication. And when I did get a chance to and I got to log on and see that stuff, it like kept me going. So it's like, y'all was like, you such a big inspiration. You such a good motivator. And seeing your comments back to me, kept me going. I was like, dang, because for the longest time I couldn't speak to my family. Like I would call them and I would just miss them because the time difference where I was, where they were, it just wasn't adding up. And all I had was freaking YouTube. So good luck y'all. Um. Let's see, um, when we pulled back in, I um, manned the rails. And I had to do that, like I had to volunteer to do that because it's the last time, it's the last ride. Like, it's no more deployments on that boat, they're decomping it. So, I definitely hopped on that. It was freezing, but like, just as much as it was cold, the feeling that I got from doing that was so warm. Like, to hear those people shouting for us, like we were freaking superstars, like, like, it was crazy. Like, you could hear them. It was like a rumble. Like, it was so loud. Cheering. You, oh, my gosh. Like, all the signs. All the people crying. Tears. Happiness. Joy. So many emotions. It was, it was, I'm still speechless. I can't, it's so hard for me to even put it into words. It's crazy. Like, it, when we pulled in, we moored the ship. A sailor threw a, um, a banner that he got made. Somewhere he got it made. He threw the banner over the side. And he said, will you marry me? Oh. And he called his girlfriend. And she was like, yes. I was like, she said yes. He's like, yes, she said yes. I cried. I could I cried. I was like, oh, my gosh. That was like a movie for real. Um, The boat, living on a boat was, it was fun for real. It, it's, it's like when I be going into these situations, I always be thinking the worst. I don't know why. Probably because of like movies and how like the ships are portrayed i don't know but 
I was thinking it was going to be like bug infested, bugs in your food, bugs in your bed. I was thinking it was going to be wooden, old, dusty, dirty. Man, it was nothing like that. It was nothing like that. It was like a, it was a big boy. It was like a city. It was huge. It was huge. It took me like 10 minutes to walk to work. All right, maybe not 10, maybe like six. It, but it was crazy. Um, <laughs> it was huge. It was, a, it was a really big boat. Um, the water pressure was fine. It was hot when it needed to be hot, cold when it needed to be cold. Um, one time I did get caught in the shower though. I was taking a shower and, um, I turned the water off to, you know, soap lather up. Got to conserve, go green. Um, so I go to turn it back on and it didn't come on. So I was like, holy cow, what do I do now? And the girl was like, oh, it goes out sometimes. You'll be all right. It'll be back on in a couple minutes. I was in there like 20 minutes. Like the soap started drying on me. I was like itching. It was it was ridiculous. But that was the only time that I got caught in the shower or anything bad like that. So um, I guess I was lucky. Um, what else? Uh, the food. Um, the food wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be either. Um, it it, it was fine. It wasn't horrible. I mean, some days I would pass on some things like uh, you know. I mean, but you know, shit provided. It. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, when I was in the holding unit before I shipped out for the, um, for deployment, I met this first class and with them speaking to her, I found out that she was in my squadron. So when I found that out, I was like, I need her to be very close to me because I mean, obviously she's the first class. I'm the E1. She's been in for what, eight, nine years. I've been in for not even eight, nine months yet. So I was like, I'm going to need that knowledge to be by my side. So, um, and I still talk to her like every day now. Um, she like set me straight as far as what to bring for this deployment. Because if it wasn't for her, I would have overpacked and it just would have been um, like unsaid in every way. So, um, I don't know. It feels like I'm so close. Okay. So, um, the things I brought with me were a few favorite fragrances. Well, no, no, no. Actually, I only brought one, which is, um, it's not even my favorite. It's just, like, the most convenient. Anyways, um, amber or something from Victoria's Secret is, like, goldeny, orange, ambery colored. Anyways, um, a fragrance, a couple civilian outfits for when you pull in the port so you have something to wear. Um, two pairs of NWUs, my NFUs, turtleneck gloves, watch cap, coveralls. Boots, of course, shoe shine kit, gotta have that. Um, hair products, sleeping bag, um, which is my sleeping bag is like my most prized possession. Like it got so cold, so cold. Like, and I was like, oh my god, thank that first class so much for telling me to bring this. Um, I brought my own sheets, shower shoes, nail polish, um, underwear, socks, jewelry. I probably brought more things than that, but I just can't. Oh, yeah, um, a battery-operated fan will be good. I didn't bring it, but somebody put it on the table like they didn't want it. And, of course, like me, I was like, yeah, I'm going to need that. Grab that. Um, what else? I said some things I wish I would have I would have had. Um, baby powder. Um, a big water bottle with a wide mouth. Um a shower caddy. Bed Bath & Beyond had like a boss one. Like I, I, I wish I would have had that. Um, and a dark towel, a dark colored towel, towel for um those days. Women, those days, y'all know. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh nail polish. This color right here. Um, okay. You could like barely tell that I, that I got it on. It's like really natural color. It's called Classy by Revlon. By Revlon, I think it's a universal color for like any skin tone. I love it to death. As a matter of fact, that first class, she was like, um, I sitting on her nails. But I, when I bought this nail color, I didn't know that it was the same color that she had. So I put it on my thing, and then I saw her later that day, and I put it next to her. So it's like, dang, that's the same one. Oh well. <laughs> but um I love this color. It looks so pretty. Like I just love it. Alright, we in nine minutes. Try and keep it under 20. We're gonna see how that go. Um let's see. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay. You living in close quarters on a boat. 
So, um, I think it's good to bring an iPod because me personally, if I get pissed off, it's, it's good for me to listen to music so it distracts me. I'm in my own little zone. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to listen to somebody. Like, because me, like, if somebody is pissing me off and, like, a day could go by and if I'm still pissed on the inside, like, not on the outside, but you know what I mean? If you piss on the inside and I hear that voice, my skin starts to crawl. I'm like, ugh, why is, it, why is she next to me? Why, why, you know, so the iPod works wonders. Um, Let's see. Uh, What else is good to have? Some little hooks, like the little um plastic hooks. I forgot what brand makes them, but you can stick them on the wall and then you pull the little thing off when you want to take them off. Some of those are good because um it's good to hang up your towel so you don't have to um you know let it sit in your rack all wet after you use it. Um stuff like that. Make sure your towel is thin, not thick, because you want it to dry out because you're not gonna be able to do laundry that often. You don't want mildew and all the whatnot going on. Um. You don't have a lot of space for your belongings, so don't overpack, like, bring in, like, a big old makeup bag and all of this and all of that. Like, you don't have a lot of space. Like, you, your your rack is, like, the size of three quarters of a twin bed. And you lift your rack up, and you have little compartments to put your things in. That's the space that you have. And, like, in high school, the gym lockers, like the, um, what is it, locker room, where it's, like, half a locker, you have one of those. So it's half a locker and, like, three quarters of a twin bed where you have to put your entire seat bag and everything you have. So, don't overpack. Bring the bare minimum of everything. Like, I brought a, um, a Dove uh, body wash. My other Dove is in the shower, and I'm not about to go get it. But it's a regular one. It's like five bucks. That lasted exactly 45 days. Like, on my last day, I just tossed it. Like, it was probably like two more uses in it. So, if you could do the math like that, you might want to pack for that. Um... But when you do pull in a different ports, you get a chance to go to the next, and which is like the Navy Walmart. And um, they have everything there, and you can re-up. So you don't have to um, pack like eight months worth of body wash, which you could just, you know, bring something to start off. But I just wanted to give y'all a um, like little status on that. Um, I never got seasick until we were coming back home and we hit the Atlantic Ocean. The boat was rocking so bad like it was rolling so bad it was crazy i was laughing at everybody like ah y'all crazy like this is like 15 year vets who like walking around with a little motion sickness patch on and i'm like ah. <laughs> laughing at them right so i'm in the gym one night and um, people in there are taking their prt so this guy riding a bike and he started riding so slow so i'm listening to my headphones and i'm not even paying attention to why he's riding so slow Trying to find out he's just getting seasick. I'm like, I'm just riding like his ass won't fail. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, and the chief was getting so mad because he was driving, I mean, because he was riding so slow. That's, you know, he just hopped off the bike and throw up. And I was like, oh, of course, I started laughing or whatever. Like, all right, so anyways, God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly because when I got back to my rack that night, I went and took a shower, came back to my rack. I had to run back to the head to throw up. I was like, God don't like ugly. I do not like ugly. That was the only time I got seasick, and then I started taking motion sickness medicine, like the little pills or whatever. And, um, yeah. So, other than that, I was good, though. I was good. Um, what else did I have to talk about? Um, oh, where we at? 13 minutes. All right. I might be doing a new stream soon. I'm not sure when, but I'm going to do it. Um, wait, let me, let me, let me. I might do a stream just because um like a lot of people be having a lot of people be having questions and they all be they be all different questions and I be doing so much I don't really have the time to you know sit there and individually respond to each question like I try my hardest to and I try to give y'all as many outlets as possible to, to um you know get in contact with me because I know how it was when I was shipping and I would be asking people on YouTube stuff and they would never get back to me. And I'm like, damn, I ship tomorrow. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm about to throw up. I gotta use the bathroom. I don't know. Like, so I know, I know how it feels. So I be trying to get back to y'all, like, um, you know, as much as I can. But the stream is so that I'm here, y'all there. Ask me questions. I got y'all. We can share stories. You know what I mean? Um, few questions that people were asking me about um, the weeds. Okay. Um. 
I suggested the weaves because people like, I have long hair, I don't want to cut my hair, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if it's professionally done, it should look natural. And this is for people with the long, the long hair who usually don't wear weave, don't really know what to do with it. If it's professionally done, it should look natural. Um, however, for those of you who hair is like down to your butt, your hair is really thick, and you're like, I don't know when I get it braided, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I, I don't know everything. I just say try it. The worst that can happen is they say, hey, that's not in bags, take it out. Then you right back where you started, and at least you tried. But, um... The girl that did it in my um, brother did. She was black, um, and it worked. It worked for her, and it still looks nice all the way up. She had it in eighth school, so that was way after we got to to boot camp. She just swam in it, showered in it, all of that, and it was good for her. So, um, good luck. Hope it works. Um, PRTs. Look, Google your requirements. It goes by age and sex. Um, I know I'm in a 20 to 24 bracket. So I know that I shoot for excellent every time I try, um, every time I go. Uh, just go hard. Um, for those of you who are not physic physically gifted, athletically gifted, neither am I. Like, I am a couch potato. Like, I hate working out. I do it because I know the kind of body that I want to have, but I hate working out. So when you go to your PRT, don't go in there with the mindset like, damn, I hate this. This is going to suck. I'm going to fail. Blah, blah, blah. Go in there like, you know what? I spent 15 minutes eating chips. I, th I spent 15 minutes at the bar. I spent 15 minutes sleep. I spent 15 minutes watching freaking Bad Girls Club or whatever. Go in there like, I'm going to spend this 15 minutes being a boss. Run that ass around that track like freaking Michael Myers back there chasing you. Like, Go hard. It's only 15 minutes. Like, for most of us, it's, it's like a 15-minute bracket to pass, like, the bare minimum. Like, the first time I went, I don't remember my times, but I know I got better and better and better every time I took it. Um, so, go hard or go home. <laughs> um, on the boat, 17 minutes. Damn, it's not going to be under 20 minutes. Mm. All right. On the boat, I still, like, to this day, I still have not done AO work. I'm an AO. Aviation Ordinance. Um... I still haven't done anything in my field yet because I'm the most junior sailor in my command. So, my command's rules is that you have to do TAD time before you can go to your shop. So, on the boat, I did some TAD time. And since I didn't finish my time, now that I'm back on the shore, TAD still. Um, on the boat, I was cranking. I was working in the galley. And um, I was working in the deep sink. Deep sink? <laughs> right in my hood, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was working at the deep sink, washing pots and pans, and um, everybody was like, oh my God, you're going to hate cranking, it's going to suck, it's going to be the worst experience ever, it's going to make you hate the Navy. So I'm going down there thinking in my mind, like, oh shit, this is going to be bad. And I was, I was like, you know what, this is not going to be bad. I'm going to go down here like a boss, grab these pots and pans, make a mine, and have a ball. And that's what I did. I went down there. And I had so much fun. Like, I think I had more fun there than I'll ever have in the Navy. Ever again. Like, we had so much fun. I can't stress it enough. Like, so, don't listen to what people say, especially if it's negative. Like, if it's negative, tuck it in the back of your mind and just, you know, keep a lookout for it. But don't go in there looking for the negativity. Because if you go in there with that mindset, you're going to attract it. You attract what you radiate. Like, that's, I'm a firm believer that if you put out positivity, you won't get positivity back. So go down there, go wherever you at, doing whatever you're doing, like a boss, with that mindset that you're going to kill it. You're going to have a good time, whatever. Attitude is everything. Um, so, uh, yeah, I had fun cranking. And um, now I'm TAD, back to the galley again. It's different on the shore, though. Like, there, when I was on the boat, I was, like, serving food and washing dishes. Like, I was doing everything. Besides cooking, but now I don't be doing nothing with the food. I freaking fold napkins and stuff. So um, it's different. You just gotta make it yours. Like they give you a broom and tell you sweep. Talk to your broom, massage it, give it a back rub. You know, have fun with it. <laughs> you gotta do stuff to make the time go by, or you're gonna hate life. So you have to be positive about it. Um, let's see, cranking. 
Wait to advance. A lot of people ask me that. Okay, you have an opportunity to advance before you even get to boot camp by recommending people and they sign a contract. And I think you only need two. But I'm not sure. It might be different to, you know, according to where you're at, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, recommending people and getting them to sign contracts. When you're in boot camp, if you pass the written test, well, no, 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 it's not written. It's on, on, it's on a computer, but it's on your start guide. So if you pass the start guide test, which is, I think it's called the PQS test, and could be wrong and um the your initial prt so if you look up your requirements for your prt and you and you pass that and the computer test you're you're automatically advanced no questions asked um and also if you get a good position in boot camp and they feel like you did a good job they'll advance you or in a school if you're the top of your class with a 90 my 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 rate was 93 or above um you can get advanced. Now, I missed it by three points, so we're not even going to talk about that. Next. I'm still heated. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Um, somebody asked me, will I get in trouble if I say something about the Navy? Like, as they were, like, kind of, sort of implying that I'm only saying positive things about the Navy because I don't want to say negative things because I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Here's the deal. If I were to say something negative about the Navy, I'm pretty sure I would get in trouble for it. However, I haven't had any negative experiences. I, I don't have anything bad to say. Like, y'all y'all been watching me. I lucked up at every freaking event, every experience I lucked up. I got good bags. I got a good command. I freaking, what else? Um... I got to go on cruise for the last 45 days. Like, I've been looking up, and I don't know why I've been looking up. And it's, you know, the funny part is, it's, I probably haven't even been looking up. I just probably have this this mindset that I'm going to turn anything that happens, in, that happens to me into something good. You know, I think that's probably what it is. I'm going to turn whatever situation I'm in into something good because regardless of how you react, it's still going to be a situation so you might want to try to make it as best as it can be i think that's i think that's what it is <laughs> um so um i'm totally honest with everything that's happened to me everything i'm, I'm honest with you guys i'm not sugarcoating nothing i'm not i'm not you know cherry picking what i want to say what i don't want to say i say whatever comes to mind and that's just what i do so yeah um like I was just saying, I love my command. Like, I love my command. I can't say it enough. Like, they have treated me like nothing. They they treated me like I've been here for years, which is not what I expected. I expected them to treat me like a scrub, you know, like like I'm nothing because I'm new, because I'm a junior sailor or whatever. And I, I expected to come in having to defend myself, basically. I expected to come in having to defend myself because, um, honestly, in life, that's what I ha I've had to do. I've always been the youngest, like, I've always, at every job, I've always been the youngest, working alongside, like, 50-year-old women, and I have to defend myself, like, look, lady, I'm not your child. I might be the same age, maybe even younger than your child, but, you know what I mean? So, I, I expected to have to do that here, and I don't, which is surprising. I'm like, dang. So, so far, I have nothing bad to say. I have not, I don't, I can't complain. Like, I was walking down the hallway, the P way. I was walking down the hallway um, on a boat, and one of my officers in my command, she saw me. And she's like, how you doing, boss? And I was like, you talking to me? I'm good, how you doing? I can't believe that she greeted me. Before I could even say hello, she greeted me, and by name, I was like, I was done. I was I was done in a good way. Like my command, thumbs up. I can't I can't say it enough. Um, and um, also, um, the last couple of days I've been looking and like uh, like trying to see what I should talk about in the video from the comments on YouTube. And I saw a couple um, negative comments, but not only were they negative, they were racist. And we. It's, yo, like, it's so far gone. It's so, like, we don't even have to have the conversation about racism and uh, about all that. Like, first of all, our president is black. 
So for everyone who has a problem with me being black and me being vocal about my life, get over it. Build a bridge and get over it. It's 2012. I feel sorry for you. And that's just what it's going to be like. I, I don't even know what to say, but it's not welcome. I can tell you that. It's not welcome here. Like, I'm on here telling my story, spreading knowledge, spreading power, spreading positivity, spreading kindness, spreading motivation, inspiration. Like, I don't know what you want from me. You mad? Tell them why you mad, son. Tell them why you mad. <laughs> um, 25 minutes. All right, so this is going to be a long one, like the last one, but I got way more to talk about this time. All right, so um, I'm going to try to do it over and out after I read these few um, entries. When I first got on the boat, I was writing um, like little journal entries every day for like mm, a week and then, yes. But um, I'm going to start it off real fast, and I, I'm going to try to be real fast. All right. Left hotel in Bahrain at 3, 0, 3.30 in the morning. Ugh, didn't sleep at all. Car ride, puked. Got to, got to the ship, USS Enterprise at 11.30. Went around with AO2. He's, he's been in 10 years. He's great people, tired as crap. Went through too many time zones, spaghetti. So I guess we had spaghetti that night for dinner. <laughs> um, still getting checked in. This is the next day. Still getting checked in. These ladder wells are kicking my ass. It's hot as on the wet in my brother. Wish I would have brought that fan. Oh, left my charger in Bahrain, so no music till I make friends, LOL. And that's when I put what we had for breakfast and lunch and dinner. All my sausages, gravy, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that's when I said, oh, I met this player. And that's when I was like, rose eyes. <laughs> and the games began, shaking my head. The second day on the boat. Anyways, um, I was like, uh, the next day. Met the CEO today. He was mad cool. I still was nervous though. LOL. Mastered my way to the shop. Maintenance control. Maintenance admin. And um, I don't know. Something scribbled today. Um, also lifted an 80 pound brew <laughs> today. Um, that's a bomb rack unit. That's what holds the bomb onto the jet. And I had to lift it. Man, I had bruises all up and down my forearms. It was crazy. I was like, that shit was death. Only 80 pounds, but it kicked my whole ass. <laughs> gotta hit the gym. Gotta start soon, but I gotta learn my way around. I was like, oh, I pulled a muscle in my ass messing around with those bruises. <laughs> I did, I did, yo. I pulled a muscle in my butt cheek. It was him. Oh, man. I was like, um, okay, about to read my rating manual and then go to sleep. CPR tomorrow. Next day, I put, I'm writing upside down now because I'm sleepy as I don't know what. Jet lag is kicking my butt. First day on the flight deck today. It was so cool. Um, a lot of info, but I know I'm going to be a boss at it, though. And that's when I was like, got certified for CPR today. Yay. Talk to you later. Next, I said, we hit port today. Yay, Dubai. Architecture out of this world. Mall is huge. Tomorrow, I'm going to buy an iPad. Yay. And that's when I said, why well, I call home today and nobody answered the phone? Mommy, Daddy, Lee, Pee Wee, Avery. Nobody. I was like, Kara's nap is cray. I was like, my son, that's my best friend. Um, nobody answered the phone. Good night. I'll try again tomorrow night. So when I was calling them, I think it was like in the middle of the night for them or something like that. I don't remember, but all right, 28 minutes. I'm trying to do it at 30. All right. And the next one I put, we are in the Red Sea. We should be heading the Su we should be hitting the Suez Canal Friday. We passed Yemen and North Africa yesterday. I'm TAD now to ask Yali. It's not so bad. Been breaking out from the soap, so hopefully that'll go away. My rack mate is cool. Both of them in love. Oh, oh yeah, both of them. I'm in love with my new friends that I made. And that's when um I put things that I would bring next time, which I already mentioned. Um, my friends that I made were people that I met. The day we pulled into port for Dubai, I was supposed to go, um, I was supposed to sign out with this one girl and it didn't work out. And then I ended up signing out with this group of girls. I had no idea that they were strangers. And I'm still, I'm so in love with them. Like we had such a good time. And I still talk to all of them today. Like <clears throat> they cool peoples. Um, I said, then the next day I said, holy cow. Last night I dreamed I was pregnant. WTF, LOL. That's when I put today was okay. Dishes. I ate the best corned beef ever. I was like, I think I'm going to start hitting gym Friday. Can't wait. Also, I got to make sure to bring my camera to take a pic of the canal. Oh, 
five minute wake up report here i come room and that's the last um entry that i wrote um i guess i just fell off but uh i don't know anywho yes 30 minutes that's what i'm talking about all right so i had fun filming this video i hope you had fun watching it thank you for watching and subscribing if you have any more questions tweet me i'm most accessible on there if i don't follow you back at me and be like yo follow me back or put now following or whatever you do just to let me know that you're following me and that i should follow you um instagram bossing it twitter judy got juice um i hope i could i hope i was a help to everybody somebody out there uh, <laughs> uh hopefully this video goes up tonight but i don't think it will anyways i love sheldon bazinga <laughs>